Hello, my name is Eric from Green Stuff Absorbent. I'm here to give you a quick demo today on how to use Green Stuff Absorbent on liquid polymer. Polymer is a material that's used often in the wastewater treatment business and in the paper making industry. It's a material that's used as a flocculant. It is also incredibly slippery. I heard one person in the wastewater treatment business describe a polymer spill as kind of like having a banana peel on a sheet of ice. It's incredibly slippery and it causes on-the-job injuries. Many people try and clean up liquid polymer spills by using Speedy Dry or Kitty Litter, sometimes referred to as clay or uh, Georgia Fuller's Earth. It's a material that's common, it's relatively cheap, it's been around for a while, but it's not very efficient at all at cleaning up polymer spills. Other people are trying to use peat moss, or others are still using amorphous aluminum silicate. It's a type of volcanic glass, uh, sometimes called perlite. These are all somewhat better materials than basic clay, but none come even close to what Green Stuff Absorbent can do. Green Stuff is a phenolic resin absorbent. It's extremely lightweight, but it's extremely efficient and extremely quick as well. Combining all these features together, along with a price that's remarkably low as well, results in a product that is astonishingly efficient at cleaning up liquid polymer spills. What I have here is some liquid polymer that's most often used in wastewater treatment facilities. I'm going to pour it onto this floor here, which is a epoxy coated cement floor, very similar to what many uh, industries use um, today. We're going to start out here with a one pound bottle of Green Stuff Absorbent. It's extremely lightweight, but it's quite quick and quite efficient. Let's get right to it. With Green Stuff, you basically pour it right onto the top of the spill. And because polymer is a rather thick viscosity material, you want to lay it on a little thicker than you normally would with other materials. You want to basically give the opportunity to tamp the material, the green stuff, down into the polymer. Give it a little bit of time to do its thing. And you begin just cleaning it up with a simple corn broom. And you want to try and keep the material as close together as possible. You want to try and minimize the pancaking effect that polymer sometimes has. You just simply want to get the fresh powder down onto the liquid and keep moving it around. You'll notice that Green Stuff Absorbent actually absorbs the liquid to the interior of the resin and that results in very fast absorption. It also reduces smells quite significantly and you are essentially done in less than a minute. Now I'm going to use a little bit of unused powder here and just simply rub it into the spill area. Walk it out of the area and we have a completely dry surface now. One of the problems that many people encounter with polymer spills is they think they've got it cleaned up and then as soon as that area gets wet after being thought to be cleaned up you have essentially a black ice situation. The material, the area is still actually slippery. Have some bottled water here. Pour it right down onto the area. Now it's hard to show you on a video here, but the area is still completely dry. And I'm going to use the same green stuff absorbent here just to absorb the water here as well. And to do my honest best to show you that this area is completely dry and now completely harmless, I'll show you by stepping on the area. You will not have on-the-job injuries now in that area once you've treated that polymer spill with green stuff absorbent.